Hi there, and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and welcome to the Robot Weekly Update number 14. Today we're looking at home serving. Go paint my house. Guard patrolling. Ooh, shh. Okay. Ooh. He's gone. Police roaming robots. What's that you got, officer? Ticket. Oh. Oh. Meet Pepper, the latest house robot. Move over, Siri. There's a new robot in town, and he's more than just a voice. Japan Softback Corp has worked together with International Business Machines Corp to develop a house robot called Pepper, set to go on to sale in Japan this summer. Pepper sets himself apart from the vacuums and toys that came before him because he can perform a variety of tasks all while holding a conversation with a human. We each take a deep breath and then we see who can hold it the longest. Much like voice assistants like Apple Inc's Siri and Amazon Inc's Echo, Pepper is sometimes unable to continue a conversation he doesn't understand, in which case he changes the subject. However, in addition to social skills, Pepper is said to have a wide range of talents from speaking in sign language to opening doors. SoftBank says it hopes robots like Pepper will become an everyday item much like PCs and smartphones have, and the device will be the most widely used human robot to date. The company says it will likely lose money on Pepper's sales to begin with, but the fees connecting the robot to its network are expecting to make up for negative margins. This month, SoftBank joined forces on robotics with International Business Machines Corp to jointly develop IBM's Watson Artificial Intelligent Technology for the Japanese market, including robots. A SoftBank spokesman said Pepper was one of a number of platforms on which Watson could appear. Pepper's price tag is also a factor. Although SoftBank hasn't released details yet, the robot is expected to cost nearly $2,000. SoftBank sees broader uses for humanoids, saying they can provide company to Japan's growing ranks of elderly people, assist school children with their homework, or help customers find products in a retail store. Outside developers are working on applications that would deliver cloud-based digital entertainment and other services via the robots. Guardbot, US Marines testing robot guard balls that can swim and roll on any terrain. The US Marines are currently testing an unmanned spherical robot ball that can both swim in water and roll across most terrains in order to perform a reconnaissance for armed forces. Guardbot is the brainchild of Guardbot Inc., a robotics firm based in Stanford, Connecticut in the US. The idea for the robot was first conceived in 2004 and the autonomous robot was initially designed to go to Mars. But now, the US Navy is interested in using robot as a guard in unknown territories and to provide a reconnaissance in warfare. It has taken creator Peter Morad over seven years to develop the amphibious robot, which can swim through water at a speed of four miles per hour and roll along terrain including sand and snow at 20 miles per hour, even if the ground has a 30 degree incline. The technology behind the robot is a pendulum motion propulsion system featuring nine axis stability, whereby a range of algorithms control the robot steering by shifting its center of gravity back and forth. The beauty of the technology is that it can be used to produce scalable robot balls, which can go down to being as small as 10 centimeters in diameter or as large as nine feet in diameter. There are two half spheres fitted in the side of the robot ball which can carry cameras and multitude of sensors to capture live stream video footage of opposite directions simultaneously. Lasting up to eight hours on a single charge, GuardBot can be remotely operated using a two to eight gigahertz data link. And a laser spectroscope located in the transparent half spheres is capable of detecting the chemicals used to make bombs in a distance of just two inches away. 
At the moment, Guardbot is still being tested with the US Marine Corps Warfighting Lab in operational environments, such as getting the robot to deploy from and return back to naval boats. Morad's team is also working on new software that incorporates geographic information system. So in the future, command control could pick a spot on a map and the robot would work on the geographic coordinates for itself and immediately travel to the location. Robocop is coming. A robot that can patrol the streets and hand out tickets could hit the cities in 2016. Jeremy Robbins wants to use robots to bring disabled law enforcement officers back to the force. And he's given researchers at Florida International University Discovery Labs $20,000 to bring his idea to life. Robbins, a lieutenant commander in the US Navy Reserves, describes himself as someone from a services-oriented family who is always looking for a new challenge. While serving in Afghanistan, Robbins had an idea of how to help disabled police and military veterans reconnect with the workforce while simultaneously combating our nation's rising crime. His idea is to use telerobotics, the combination of telepresence and robots to allow vets to serve as patrol officers. The robot, which is about six foot tall, gets around on wheels and has three HD cameras, giving it full 360 degree vision. According to the VA, there are more than 181,000 Afghanistan and Iraq war veterans collecting disability benefits today. Many of these veterans are unemployed. In addition to our military vets, thousands of police are forced to retire every year because of disabilities. Telerobots could change all of that. We want to use Telebots to give disabled military and police veterans an opportunity to serve in law enforcement, explains Robbins. With Telebots, a disabled police officer will be capable of performing many, if not most, of the functions of a normal patrol officer. Interacting with the community, patrolling, responding to 9-11 calls and issuing tickets. Telerobotics have already begun to make its way into the world of medicine, business and private security. Extending it into law enforcement is simply the natural progression of things. That's it guys for your weekly World Robot News. I'm your host, Philip English. If you like this weekly report and want to see more of the latest robot news, reviews and robotic tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. I put further information about the robots in the weekly robot update in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have a robot product that you would like me to do a review or do a tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.